seconds let me just adjust my camera i know my head is like cut off i am loving my new shirt i had gotten this at target so if you guys are interested i like the fact that it's black and white <laughs> and then before i i just want to make sure i'm not stepping into something but um i am all decked out of scentsy disney over here so i've got cinderella oh let me turn i have cinderella frozen tinkerbell and then i have um jack skeleton and then i have christmas ones over there <laughs> i'm loving it i'm loving it i'm finally done i'm finally done decorating uh for christmas i started november 1st and i just got done today i literally put up my last uh christmas warmer although i'm getting the fireplace uh tomorrow so but i already have a spot for that and then no more no more holiday warmers i cannot because i had to struggle with uh putting like three or four warmers into one area to be able to use up all of my holiday warmers and this is why i i dedicated a separate channel aside from my life channel of a simply simple life i should have done this a long time ago but i knew it was a lot of work and it is a lot of work starting over but it's okay i'm not here to um to get like thousands of subscribers i'm just here to sh share sensi with you guys because <laughs> i'm so addicted to sensi myself i am my best customer <laughs> and so this helps out my girls this helps out customers this helps out you guys to be able to share it to your customers or if you're a customer that is ordering to be able to decide if it's something that you want in your home um but I made this channel so that I can actually use my warmers. Every single warmer that I show you guys, that I open, it's mine. And there's been times it just gets piled up, piled up into my storage room to the point that, you know, I forget which ones I have. So I'm glad that I finally opened this. With that being said, um, I am sharing with you guys another uh, Scentsy warmers and scents that I have been enjoying into my home with this within the past few days or week uh, since my last video I think it's been about a week and a half and just trying to balance out this one and then haul but I am sharing a few scents with you guys I don't want to overload with the scents because I want to give you guys the description some of them are no longer available but there are a lot of current holiday scents that it's also going to be amazing into your home if these ones I'm showing you are not available I do apologize for that and then um maybe one of these days i will show you just one video of my whole warmers into the home because i want to i like to change them out i get tired of looking at the same thing after a while so i like to just play around with it change it out and that's the fun thing like i said i use my sensi warmers as part of my decoration all right so first of all I am all into bricks. <laughs> Ever since Sensi released the holiday brick collection for this year, I wanted to bring out my bricks. And then I told myself, this year is going to be the year that I go through one brick. <laughs> I have been loving bricks since I became a consultant. As a customer, I, didn't, I wasn't even aware that there were bricks. I was just buying whatever uh, my Sensi consultant, which was my best friend, was giving me because she needed... You know, she's like, Diane, I think you need this. I'm like, okay. <laughs> if only she told me about the bricks back then. Um, but yeah, so I'm taking out a lot of my bricks. So if you notice within the next two weeks or so, um, it's going to be mostly about bricks because I want to be able to use them. Okay. First of all, it's going to be this one. The cinnamon chai latte. As you guys can see, it is one of my favorite scents. So I warm this from now like around Thanksgiving you know fall from fall all the way up to right before spring so into those January February um, season or months um, it is still winter here so I feel like this is a nice winter set I tried melting this or warming this however you want to say it I tried warming this during the summertime and I'm like no whoo um, just because it's filled with spices. So let me go ahead and tell you what's into the, the cinnamon chai latte. So cinnamon chai latte, since it says it's a soothing sip of cardamom, cinnamon stick, grated nutmeg, and steamed milk. Okay, so you can really smell that, um, that cinnamon stick in there. 
as well as like the nutmeg not sure about the cardamom though um maybe that's just a spice that i don't normally use so then i don't know the scent of it but this is a very spicy um uh scent that's just like you're drinking like a, a tea like a chai latte tea it's amazing i like it so like i am like i said i don't go through my bricks um too often but when you see something like this and you think it's filled but what i do is i get one of these cubes and then i cut them in four so actually this is one two three four this is one cube right here okay one two three four and then i have three so this is almost two cube that's filled out and then once i cut it and if it's empty like this i just put it into the slot or if it doesn't fit i put it into a, a ziploc and one of you guys did ask me to do a video of how i cut my bricks i can definitely do that i'll do that right after this video okay one of my favorite holiday scents from fall up to uh, right before spring okay i think it's best enjoyed when it's cold <laughs> when it's cold all right the other one is a very strong scent this is cinnamon bear now this one came out this was part of our of our holiday collection uh year 2017 so i stock up on this one as well so i think i have like two bricks uh as my backup okay and then this one is the cinnamon bear okay so 2017 so cinnamon bear and chai latte were both uh within the same year Okay, cinnamon bear is a strong um, Christmas scent. It is, it's exactly like uh, Red Hots. <laughs> Those Red Hots candies, oh my gosh, it just smells just like Red Hot. So if you know of the Red Hots, the spicy scent to it, then you know that um, this is the scent that's going to uh, mimic that to the tea. Okay, as you guys can see, I've had this since 2017 and 2020 so three years later i've only gone through okay so there's two three i've only gone through about two and a half cubes because they last forever <laughs> i tend to put this out um around like the kitchen area never the bedroom because to me to me it's just too strong into the bedroom hallway upstairs hallway to get that festive set in there definitely um use that there um hallway i guess downstairs hallway between kitchen and living room i'll put that there as well but not to where i'm sitting down um which i never do <laughs> don't ever sit down on my sofa to watch tv i don't know why but um i wouldn't i wouldn't personally put it right next to like a sofa of a table to where you're sitting down there it's just so strong um that's why i've only used a little bit of it i love it i love the scent um just like red hot but it's so strong that i cannot be near it close to me for too long okay but it is nice on an open concept and cinnamon bear sensi says it's crisp spicy cinnamon reminiscent of red hots candy with a touch of cloves okay and then this one came out on 2017 all right so next one is christmas cottage christmas cottage is still available within a bar onto our regular fall and winter catalog and since it says christmas uh, cottage is a cozy inviting blend of valencia oranges raspberries cloves and spices so to me it's um reminiscent of just that christmas holiday scent and it's not too even though it has the oranges in there and the raspberries um i i wouldn't put it into the the fruity um actually since it has it under the holiday scents because the cloves and the um, the cloves and the spices is at the top note it's at the front and the raspberry and the orange is at the back so you smell more of those um, those spices and those cloves rather than the berries. But the berries does add a sense of like not like fruity, but a, a sense of sweetness to it. So spicy with a, with a back note of sweetness. I do like it. It is one of my favorites. But because I believe I had it in a bar, I used up my bars first before I started using the bricks, which I often do and for this one what year was this i forgot what year it was with the i want to say it was along with 2017 okay so even within that time i've only used up a couple okay this one right now currently is going into 
um, the walkway or hallway between my living room and my kitchen. I do love this. It is one of my favorite um, holiday scents that's been back um, or that's been around since I've been a consultant. So Christmas cottage. All right, so those are the spices. And for me, when I have so much warmers into my home that I cannot overload my senses with too much of one um, family of scents. So those are spices. Those are three different spices set for me. So then I would have to put in some sort of sweetness or fruitiness into um, some of my warmers. Back here I have Hug in a Mug. So my office smells like hot cocoa, which I made the kids hot cocoa today and hubby because while I was tidying up and putting Scentsy warmers into part of our decoration, they were putting up the outdoor Christmas light. So when they came in, there was a stove top hot cocoa. And when I give them stove top hot cocoa compared to the microwave um, packet ones, they know that it's a special treat because I add in uh, milk and heavy cream. I add in um, hot, the, the cocoa itself along with those powdered um, uh, milk in there or powdered uh, hot chocolate. And then I also put in some uh, milk chocolate chips or semi-sweet chocolate chips. So it's very sweet, but very, very good. So they always love it. All right, hug in a mug. No hug in a mug. Okay, I've shown you guys uh, hug in a mug uh, a few times because again, it is one uh, of our favorite scents. Uh, kids actually use this throughout the year. So hug in a mug is a bestseller. Curl up with chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. You cannot go wrong with that. So it's just that nice sweetness to get away from the, the spiciness. Like I said, I have it here in my studio and it smells amazing. Okay, I am down to just one of that. Now, last time I ordered hug in a mug, um, I ordered it and then it went back uh, out of stock. So not sure if it's back in stock, but once it is, then I want to order more. Okay. I had, I think, one or two cubes left of the woolly slippers. This was part of our, is it Hug? H-Y-G-G-E collection, I believe it was. I think it was, woolly slippers. And so I only have about two of these. And then I have this as well into one of my other warmers in here. I think it's Tinkerbell, okay? But I only turn on those warmers for you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Um, the only thing I really had on was um, the hug in a mug and then I placed uh, a new cube in each one of, of those and I, I turned it on for you. <laughs> okay, so done with that one. And then um, because of the, um, because of the, hol the five cents uh, holiday collection just came out, it's still available. Let me go ahead and take a look at the website really quick to make sure that it is still available. Okay, because I will upload this tonight. So Sense of the Season is available now. It is $25. Um, you can buy it individually. You can definitely add it onto your Sense Club because you guys know Wassail Wonderland. I love, 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 love Wassail Wonderland. And I'm surprised that I did not even break out Wassail Wonderland. I'll be breaking that out maybe tomorrow. Totally forgot about that. But I added that definitely into my Sense Club and I think I put three of them in there. Okay, you can always change the amount lower if it's no longer available, but you cannot change the amount to a higher number uh, if it's no longer available. So I just made sure that I put three in there because I am getting a shipment in next month and then I can always go back and then, you know, lower it to two or just one. Okay, $25 and then you get a nice uh, collection bag and then it is Blue Christmas. Okay. <laughs> For you consultants out there, I don't know if you feel the same way with me. I have no idea why Blue Christmas keeps coming back. Blue Christmas was available last year in a brick. Am I wrong? Was it last year? I want to say it was last year in a brick, the holiday brick collection. Then it was available into the Bring Back My Bars. <laughs> and then it was available in this um, this five cent collection. I don't know why. I mean, it smells okay. Um, it's not one of my like top favorite scent for the holiday, but I just, it just keeps coming back. <laughs> All right, so Blue Christmas is one of them. There's five cents in total. Cookies for Santa is a new one. 
Cookies for Santa is treat the man in the red suit to baked sugar cookie topped with brown sugar and a sip of milk. I think I added that to my Sensi Club just in case it was sold out before I get my shipment in. And then gingerbread hugs is also new. Fresh baked gingerbread with notes of vanilla and nutmeg wrap you up in the warmest, sweetest embrace. Added that. And then red berry and spruce. Red berry and spruce. I think that one, nope, yeah. That one's new. A merry mix of cranberry and raspberry swirled with a sprig of blue spruce. And then Wasail Wonderland. My most favorite, favorite, favorite set. Wasail Wonderland is orange zest, lemon peel, and cinnamon stick over fresh pine. I don't know why every time I describe Wasail Wonderland with you guys, is I say there's a little hint of ginger in there. Just a little hint. I don't know why I said it, but that's what my sniffer smells. Okay, because of that, I broke out Snickerdoodle. I, okay, so Snickerdoodle is part of, I think, five cents of the season before I became a consultant and, whew, or maybe 2016, around there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, I don't have any more. If I do, maybe one bar, okay? But Saint, uh, I'm sorry, Saint Nickerdoodle. Okay, let me go ahead and find out what that scent is. It's no longer available, like I said, but this one was baked apples, spices, and a dusting of powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing, right? One of my favorites, and I will, I will melt warm this when I'm in within the surrounding area, and then if I'm not, I'll turn it off. That's how stingy I am with this because I have. I have two cubes left and I have to make it last <laughs> so it's a special like it's a special moment for me to be able to just warm that up okay another sweetness I gotta I gotta finish this up is cozy cookie okay cozy cookie was part of gosh I want to say the holiday collection um, let's see Yep, it was part like um, the gingerbread house that I showed you guys um, collection. It was the five cents of the season, I believe, last year. Okay, and does it say the year? I don't see it. But the Cozy Cookie, Cozy Cookie is curled up to aroma of warm brown sugar, vanilla bean, and cinnamon swirl. Okay, all baking goodness. All right, I have that. And then... I have Blizzard Berry. Blizzard Berry was available, I want to say, last year. But Blizzard Berry is one of my most favorite scents for the holiday because it's so fruity. It's like a sparkling, um, like a sparkling wine, sparkling fruity wine. So when your sniffer is just so, has so much of that abundance of spices and sweetness. And then I like to just, you know, warm this up just to get rid of those other spices. I have a backup. I have two brick backup of this. I have a, when it comes to bricks, I always order two. If it's a brand new scent and I think I like it, I'll get two. Um, <laughs> as a backup. But Blizzard Berry, like I said, it's so fruity. So let me see what um, Sensi says. Blizzard Berry. It's so handy when you have like the your iPhone or iPad or phone or tablet. Like I don't. I, I told my kids one time, it's like, yeah, when I was going to, when I grad, graduated from high school, I had, I remember I had to go to the library and then I had to type up my resumes or my, my, for my school applying for college. And then I had to use those typewriters that, you know, because um, my dad was in the Navy. So uh, we were stationed overseas. So I don't even know if, you know, if we had internet, I, we didn't, I'm sure. <laughs> internet not during my times but I said I'd go to the library and I had to go into the search catalog and go through and then find which one I want and then I had to walk around the library trying to figure out where it was you guys everything is on your fingertips now they're like what's that mom like what okay blizzard berry sensi <laughs> just wanted to share that with you that's how old I am I am almost 60 all right <clears throat> Blizzard Berry Scentsy is burst of frosted winter berry and clementine zest are sprinkled with sparkling sugar crystals. Okay, everything about it is good. Okay, so it's got winter berry, clementine zest, and then sparkling sugar. It is a perfect scent that is fruity and sparkling. Okay, I love, love, love this one. All right, so you guys can see. Okay, and then my last scent 
is the new scent of the month for the month of December. I just uploaded a video of my unboxing of the scent of the month of the Polar uh, Panorama. And that's available for 10% off. This is available for 10% off, but not in a brick form. It's just going to be a bar form um, when it's available starting uh, December 1st to the public. As a consultant, we do get it about two weeks early before it's released, just so we can test it out and be able to showcase it to you guys. So this one, so within, I, I place a few. Right now it's currently um, into my living room, into the, the, the warmer itself and then um, another warmer next to it. It's a, um, like a refreshing scent subtle refreshing because I think it's got that vanilla in there from what I recall that makes it just not too not too melony not too minty and not sweet just well combined and so arctic kiss is cool arctic mint in a fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy vanilla clouds all right friends this is it for me showing you guys the scents that i have been enjoying let me now take you guys into my home and showcase you guys the current warmers that i'm using these scents into um, i do enjoy these videos with you guys because like i said i get to actually use the warmer so i get pretty excited because right now all my holiday warmers are out i'm not going to be sharing every single one of them because there's so much but maybe i can do a video of all of them but um, stay tuned again for my next uh, Sensi uh, Warmers and Scents video so that you can um, see the other warmers that I'm using. As always, visit me on TikTok for a Simply Simple Scent, Instagram a Simply Simple Scent, and then I just did a Louis Vuitton uh, MM Palm Springs unboxing with you guys over at my live channel of a Simply Simple Life. Until then, mahalo! All right, friends, so if you recall, this is my like coffee bar uh, area that had uh, the harvest pumpkin and then the the mug <laughs> during the holiday, there's Java, that's our chewini. And so I went ahead and took out those fall warmers and put in uh, one, two, three. <laughs> there's three warmers in here. So this one at the bottom. So this one is the red truck with the tree element warmer so since it came out with the red truck and then the blue truck i'm also adding on to this video of the blue truck because that's when um i still had the thanksgiving fall decor this one is no longer available i do have the santa one that was available this holiday season this one also has the cinnamon bear okay and then over here Excuse my Keurig. It's too big for this one. I'm end up gonna. I'm eventually going to get a smaller Keurig, and then this is the. I believe this is the melt, uh, melt your heart warmer. Okay, and then over here is my tree. Let me go. Um, just show you really quick of my ornaments this year. I've had this one for gosh, I think almost twenty years. This is uh, purchased when Jonathan just a baby there's like five i think five or six different um ornament there's like the tree the sleigh the stocking and or maybe just four and the reindeer all right and then on this one which is right across from that coffee bar i do have the snowman warmer that's been there for a few weeks now i did add uh, the snowman family uh, warmer, okay. And then this one is an element warmer. I just added um, this one, not the cinnamon bear, uh, Christmas cottage, I believe. And then I also have Christmas cottage on this one, okay. Just change both of them. And then this, since this is an element, you know that it's on because the light in the back. Okay. And then as you go towards my living room, I will be, <laughs> I have like five more warmers to display. So I'm like 
trying to find the perfect spot for them but currently this one is the warmer that um just got released a, about a week or two ago uh deck the halls warmer i love this warmer this is becoming to be one of my favorite um holiday warmer uh for christmas time and all i did was if if you're a consultant or customer and you ordered this received this and this was bothering you it's simple diy you just twist it okay and then I tucked in the leaves so that it faces forward because the way it came in, the red was at the bottom, the back, and I wanted the red um, berries to show. Okay, and then this is just a truck that I had gotten over at the dollar store for 99 cents. I added this, which is, um, I think over at, uh, gosh, the dollar store or maybe Michael's. And then just put that in there. And then kind of it moves so just pushed it down i don't like to store any of my decorations out so right now it's just an abundance of island in here so this is more of the island feel this one was over here where the snowman was so um i just kind of put this together i figured it'd go together because of the the gold pineapple to make room over there okay this is my credenza when I first started uh, being a Sensi consultant, this is where I stored my uh, warmers and um, and such. So I ran out of space and then went elsewhere <laughs> of like storage. But um, this one, I only have one warmer in here. And then if you guys um, notice so over here, I have a mini light and then I've shown you guys that before. I actually am going to add a different video that I had over there, but because I just did a uh, unboxing of the warmer of the month, I went ahead and took out that warmer, which is the blue truck, and then put it in there. So let me go ahead and show you. This one, oh my goodness, I love this warmer, especially at night. Okay, I believe this one is called the frosted flannel. It's a nice warmer without it being turned on. Okay, and then very nice warmer when it is turned on. Okay, and then like I said, I have about five more warmers, but I wanted to make this video for you guys before I started taking things down. Um, I will be taking this out and then putting in here another warmer um because i'm running out of space so this is the starry christmas okay and then this is the glimmer and glow and there's miss little da danica want to say hi <laughs> she has some of her toys in here i don't allow her to, to put all the toys in here because she has a playroom but i don't mind her putting some toys in here that she's currently playing with so i turned the fireplace on um i was thinking of putting warmers there but i it, it gets too hot and so i just showed you this area so then if you go here danica is admiring our uh warmer of the month and you want to come over here, baby, so we can show them? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm not going to turn this one on yet. Um, I have this one on. Now, this is the um, Polar Panorama. I just did an uh, unboxing. This is the warmer of the month for the month of December. So it's not currently out yet to the public. But if you guys want to see the, the video, it's the video before this one. Okay. This is very pretty when I turn on... Um, when I come down early in the morning, when it's still dark outside, and then also at night. I had just turned this on for you guys. And then both of them has the Arctic Kiss. Okay. But it's it's pretty now, but so, um, it's not too light of the LED, the northern lights. But it looks absolutely stunning when it's really dark. Okay, and then this one, I'll just go ahead and turn this on. Okay, there we go. And then I get these from like Target. And then this was also Target. And then like I said, I don't like to take out my decor. So 
throughout the, the year. Normally this is out here and this is like a beach. Um, we like to go to the beach. So I, I'm walking distance from the beach. This is something that Danielle and I picked up. This is something that, you know, the kids and I picked up walking along as well as that one. So it's just, you know, I, I keep it there for memories. Okay. Because I do have so many warmers on throughout the day, I tend to not change them out um, at the same time. So these ones I changed out the same time because I really want to um, sample the scent of the month, which is the Arctic Kiss. This one has the same scent because I do want them turned on at the same time and I did not want the, the scents to be contradicting each other. So whatever scents I put in here, it has to kind of um, like flow. Like for instance, if I put like a, a blueberry cheesecake in there, I'll put um, maybe like a like a sugar cookie because sugar cookie is like a light scent kind of thing. So nothing that's going to overpower the other kind of blends together. And then this one was um, warmer last year. It also came out this year for the holiday collection. And I want to say it's Christmas Camper. Okay. And then again, Target. And this was Ikea um, months before. I think they um, during the summer when I had gone to Ikea. And then this one is our November of the month, Country Christmas. These have the same scent so that I can... Um, turn them on and enjoy them together. Okay. This one is beautiful. Look at that. Okay, look at the, the snowed in roof. And then the color of the Christmas camper. And then the color of this is the exact same color. And then I have a little bit of a decoration in here and this one i've had from costco but this is like 15 years old since um danielle maybe danielle was a baby i'm not going to show you this part because i have not turned them on and it'll be on the next video and let me go ahead and show you my um my kitchen bay window all right, so this is my kitchen uh, bay window. I showed you guys a um, couple of videos ago, um, ago of uh, scents and warmers that I have been enjoying. This was packed more of plants. I decided to relocate those plants into my mudroom and then be able to display some of my Christmas in here. Um, this one is the birdcage warmer. This is one of my favorites, even though I have not used it in, in quite some time because it's so nice and open it's an element warmer but because it's so open i can really like um get a, a good throw out of this warmer okay wildlife warmer and then at night i do turn this one off and then i just keep that one and it's like a night light so the whole house is dark and then you can see this from like the street down below. So it's very nice. And then I do still have my aloe vera warmer in here. And this is, gosh, I want to say the very snowy spruce that's still in here. I have not changed it. I don't change my scents into my element warmers as often as I do with the bulbs. Um, the bulbs, I feel like I'm getting more of a throw of a performance with the scent. And then this um, element warmers, I feel like oftentimes it's more of a decorative um, warmer, which is why I incorporate it into my home as part of the decoration because I, I do use it and it does, you know, I can smell the scent, but if given a choice between element and bulb, I always choose bulb, okay? Don't get me wrong, it's like, you know, element warmers, you can still smell the scent. It's just, I just don't feel, feel the need of constantly replacing it, uh, but it does get turned on because if I have this turned on, and then I have this turned on, this one is giving out such a powerful scent into this area. 